people in getting it out. Got one! Look at that, right off the bat. Oh, uh, They love this pattern. Hi, Peter Charles here, Folk to Life Fly Fishing. And today we're going to do uh, another fly from Bob Clouser's uh, book. And it's the first strip Clouser using rabbit strip. Uh, and it's a pretty simple pattern, very effective. Uh, I have a friend who uses these things all the time and he gets uh, very good results with smaller bath, bass with this pattern. So let's uh, get going and take a look at the uh, materials I'm using. Now as far as hook is concerned, this is a salt water hook. Uh, you could use a regular down eye hook as well. This one's about a, a size two. You know, the, the big thing about Clouser hooks is make sure the shank is about a standard length. Uh, extra long shanks are usually not that uh, valuable to us. We're going to be using this uh, brown 6 uh thread. We're going to be using a dumbbell eye, and we're not going to be using a really super heavy one. In this case, it's going to be relatively light. For the first strip, we're going to use this uh, tan barred rabbit. And also our belly section is white bucktail. Uh, we're going to use some pearlescent flashaboo. And we're going to use some ginger bucktail to top it off. So let's get started. Now in this pattern, Bob keeps the uh, eye fairly far back. So that's what we're going to do. When putting on dumbbell eyes, put it on a slant first. Get a few wraps in. And then put a few wraps going the other way. And then just check to make sure everything's straight. And you can put a few more wraps in. And once everything's on there nice and straight, you're good to go. Now, uh, sometimes I've uh, put some CA glue at this stage. You're welcome to do that if you wish. The next step is to get our wing prepared. So I'm just going to size that up. You see, I'm just going to put it to about the eye. And I'm going to push it onto the hook. Remove the hook from the vise, slide the rabbit around, and put the hook back on the vise. Now we're going to lash the rabbit in place, sweep some of that rabbit forward, keep out of the way, make some turns in here, and then come in and get the front bit. There we go. Now turn your uh, hook upside down. So we're going to take some white bucktail. Uh, now tie on our belly section. Remove the short stuff. Size it about the length of the leather. Up to the length of the leather. Trim it to size. A loose wrap to keep it on top. Pull up. It starts to twist. Move it around. Now this is the stage where you can come in with some CA glue. This will help uh, hold things down. And what I do is I just come up underneath the eye and a loose wrap to start to pull things in place. And then come back underneath. There we go. Clean that up. Now, you could also, before that sets up, Take a moment to make sure it's straight. Drop another little blob of CA glue here. Now, sometimes you get it all over your fingers. It's probably not a bad idea if you want to take a moment, go get a you know, something to drink or whatever and let that set up. Next step is to put in your flashaboo. I'm going to take a healthy clump here, 
This is not a bashful amount of flashaboo. I'll bring my thread a little bit forward. I'm going to put my flashaboo around the halfway point, pull it up into position, and then wrap over it. Pull it back, wrap over it. Now what I'll do is I'll take those two strands and I'll bring them behind. Now at this stage, um, you can start to trim these a little shorter than the wings. And I don't like them to get too blocky. So you see I'm just grabbing strands and snipping them so they are not the, so they're not all the uh, same length. Clean that up. Bring your thread to the back and now for the ginger or the tan and size it. Now I'm going a little sparser than what Bob uh, Klauser shows. Sort of do it either way you like. Uh, I'll just pull that into position. If you've got any strays that are going to stick up coming at this point in time just to pick them out. You don't want any bits sticking forward into the eye of the hook. I should have pulled those a little bit more, but that's okay. We'll manage. So wind that all down. And what I'll do is I'll come in with my bodkin and I'll just split that on either side. So that wing goes on either side of the hook. There we go. Okay, so there's our rabbit uh, strip clouser or fur strip clouser. I will just whip finish this and so I've gone with a relatively light color choice here you could go darker if you wanted you could put a darker uh, bucktail on top uh, lots of choice here with the colors uh, my purpose here is to show you the general arrangement of this particular fly with the uh, insertion in the middle of that rabbit strip wing. That's really the key difference between this particular fly and any other standard clouser is that all we've done is put some rabbit in the middle. And in this case, I've used a barred rabbit, which is going to give me some striping as this thing comes through the water. So feel free to, to work around with the colors. You can do this salt water style or, or fresh water style, your choice. Uh, this is sort of a, a good, um, uh, pattern for uh, smallmouth and this particular size you could do it in larger your choice lots of variation so basically it's just the standard clouser with a rabbit strip in between so there you go the first strip clouser cheers got him come out here <laughs>